Hi, this is Josh, pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the control solution for the Contour Next meter. I happen to have a bottle of control solution level 2, so we'll, I'll show you how that control solution works. The control solution is used if, if you feel like you're having problems with the meters or strips. Officially, the manufacturer recommends using it for the first time. Use your meter whenever you open a new bottle or package of test strips. If you think the meter is not working properly or if you have unexpected blood sugar results. In reality, most people use control solution very infrequently. Um, again, it just you use it to test the meter if you think the results are off. Um, most people don't feel the need to test that. Uh, on a regular basis. But with the Contour Next EZ, you're going to want to make sure that you get Contour Next solution. There are lots of different control solutions out there. You want to get the one specific to the manufacturer that you're using. So what we do, the manufacturer recommends that you shake this bottle 15 times before you use it to get it uh, adequately mixed. You want a non-porous clean surface to put a drop on um, and a tissue to wipe away the first drop. So first of all, we'll take a contour next strip, remove the strip, make sure you reseal the bottle, leaving the bottle open can reduce the accuracy of your test strips. Go ahead and you put that in the meter, it's queuing up, there we go. Open our control solution, manufacturer recommends wiping away any control solution that may be on the tip with a clean tissue. Put a drop on your whoops, <laughs> on your non-porous surface. Whoop. Let's try that again. Alright, there's a drop on our non-porous surface. Put the strip in there and, until it beeps. Okay. Okay. You notice that check mark indicates that the meter uh, determined that this was control solution. That doesn't mean that the number is right. It just means that the meter has determined this is control solution. It won't be used in your averages. You want to look at your bottle. Let's see if I can get this clearly. It's on the very bottom here, the bottle of test strips that you used, right there, uh, level 2 should come between 113 and 141 milligram per deciliter. Ours was 126, so that means that this, this bottle of strips is calibrating just fine. Um, so that's what you do with the control solution. It's testing your strips as well as your meter to make sure that they're working properly. You need to get the control solution specific for this monitor and then when you have the reading you need to compare it to the bottle of test strips that you use. These ranges are going to be different on each bottle of test strips. So you want to look at those control ranges directly on the bottle that you used. I uh, hope you found this useful. Any questions go ahead and ask in the comments below and thank you for watching.